Hi, Room 214. It's Miss Amanda. Today, I'm going to talk to you about, I know we talked yesterday about how it's Easter on the 12th, so this coming Sunday. So I am going to bring you another informative little Easter reading today. It is about Easter in El Salvador. So let me go ahead and pull that up here. Here we go. Okay, and you can follow along with me if you would like, or you can just listen. Holy Week in El Salvador, a beautiful cultural tradition. Holy Week in El Salvador, or Semana Santa, Semana means week, Santa, holy, is one of the most celebrated cultural traditions of the country. This week for many Salvadorans is a time for prayer and reflection, but also a time to get together with family and enjoy the celebration together. So many of you are with your families right now, and it looks like we'll all be celebrating um, Easter with our families and caregivers since we're, we're not doing too much traveling right now. The season of Lent and the entire Holy Week is observed similarly to the rest of the countries in Central America. Churches all over the country celebrate the passion, death, and resurrection of Christ. Nevertheless, in El Salvador, some cities or municipalities have a unique way of celebrating this national holiday. The overall aspect of this week is religious. Each municipality all over the country has the same daily celebrations. However, Holy Week in different towns has a distinctive feel to it. Unquestionably, in El Salvador, Holy Week is celebrated differently than other countries, like the U.S., El Salvador does not have the Easter bunny or egg hunts, and the entire atmosphere is that of religion and family. So no Easter bunny and no egg hunts. What they're doing in El Salvador is focusing more on the holiday as a religious observance and time to be together with their families. So there's... Maybe, maybe we have some feelings about that. Maybe we want our Easter bunny and want to have egg hunts, or maybe we want to focus solely on the religious aspect of it. But without a doubt, Holy Week is the most important celebration for the Roman Catholic Church and the majority of Salvadorans. Over 60% of the Salvadoran population is Roman Catholic. Okay, so if you look at the picture on the screen here, these are the street carpets, and I'm going to read about that. They're also called in Spanish, alfombra. I'm sorry, alfombras. So street carpets or alfombras on Holy Friday. The street carpets on Holy Friday are a colorful tradition that you should witness if you have the chance to do it. On Holy Friday, each town or municipality tries to put their best foot forward by creating unique street carpets. These carpets are used during the procession of the Holy Burial or Procesión del Santo en Tierra. So if you want to take a minute to look at that street carpet, that's absolutely beautiful. And they make these. Most of the street carpets are made out of colored salt or sawdust, and they show a vast array of unique displays. That's fascinating, guys. So most of the street carpets are made out of colored salt or sawdust. Wow. That is incredible. One thing is for sure, making these carpets has become a sense of pride for many municipalities who claim that one of the street carpets is the largest in El Salvador. And this is a particular municipality um, called Sensun Tepec. Yeah, that's, that's right. That's what it's called, friends. All right. And here are a few facts about Holy Week. Schools are closed for that entire week. So 
it's not so different from here in that regard. We always have spring break during um, during Easter, either before or after. So this year we have a late spring break. We're having Easter. We're having spring break after Easter. So next week, all of you will be out of school, which means you you won't be. You won't be watching the videos or working with your materials. You'll just be hanging out and enjoying the break um, and, and not having to focus on school during that time. Banks close starting on Thursday and open the following Monday. So um, Good Friday is not a federal holiday here. The credit union observes Good Friday. However, that is not a federal holiday. Um, for Easter, the, um, most... Banks are just closed on that Saturday and Sunday like normal. All government offices close starting on Wednesday, and in some municipalities, they close the entire week. On Easter Sunday, public beaches and popular tourist spots get really crowded. So much like here in the United States, um, during their week, their Holy Week, they do some traveling sometimes. They go on vacation, and typically... A lot of people here would go on vacation during spring break as well, but this year is, is obviously a bit different. So we will be in our homes and celebrating at our at our homes, and hopefully the weather will be beautiful like it has been, and we'll be able to get out and do some, some fun things out in the yard. A large number of towns um, ban alcoholic drinks on Holy Friday and some the entire weekend. Some municipalities close streets starting on Thursday so locals can make their street carpets without having to worry about traffic. And during this week, you will notice the color purple all over. And for Catholics, purple is the color of repentance. So that means um, turning from the wrong things that we've been doing and choosing to do the right things. However, on Holy Friday, all of the purple turns to black as it is a sad day because Jesus died on Good Friday, which they call Holy Friday. Okay. So that's everything. Um, that's just a, a real quick overview of how they celebrate in El Salvador. I thought it would be really neat to see how they do this in other countries. And um, next I'm going to research Mexico it sounds like they might have some very similar traditions. Um, Central America, um, like this article said, celebrates much the same way the country's there. And that, my friends, is all for now. I miss you and I love you so much.